Hi, this is Doug Wolf at Boise State University, and we're back again with Sweet Home 3D and a tutorial on uh, how to take the rooms that we created in the previous video and now add some doors, windows, and some furnishings to the rooms. Okay, remember that one of the requirements of the assignment for the adventure game is that there be a locked door between two rooms. So we need to put that door in before we do anything else. So I'm going to go up here into the uh, Doors and Windows category and grab a door and drag it over here. And you notice it wants to stick to the wall, which is helpful. And it also gives me some measuring uh, indications to help me get it centered. And I can also decide which side, just by dragging a little bit to one side or the other, decide which room the doorway opens into. So I'm going to have it open into my skinny room here. and. Get it approximately centered. Okay, uh, let's put in a few windows. I'm going to grab some double, double hung windows for this room here. So maybe we'll put one there and we'll put one here. And uh, maybe we'll grab a different kind of window over here for this room. This is a window that opens out. So I can place that so it opens out. So now we have some doors and windows in our view. And you can see down here, uh, if you want those windows to be a little bit higher, I can double click it. And you notice it gives the elevation. And right now, yeah, it's pretty low. So I think we want to go up some and uh, so let's maybe put those at uh, two feet zero inches high. Okay, and I could do that with the others and I'll do that uh, a little bit later. All right, now we need some furniture for our rooms. And uh, so I'm gonna close that category and let's go to the living room furniture. And every living room needs a sofa. So let's put a sofa right here in front of that window. I know it may not be the best decorating, but that's what I'm going to do. And uh, let me just show you a couple of things about furniture. Um, first of all, when you place a piece of furniture and you have it selected, I mean, if I select off it, it just kind of looks like an overhead view of a blue couch. If I select it, there's some special symbols in the four corners. In this upper left corner here, you see um, you see the symbol that looks like a sort of an arrow, a curved arrow. And that's the rotate corner. If I place my mouse over that corner, I get this rotation symbol. And if I click and drag, it allows me to rotate the couch. And so if you look in the view down below, um, you'll see that couch rotating in the room. So if you want to put something at an angle, you could do that. Or if you decide to move this to a different wall and need to rotate it, you can do that. Um, the one in the lower right corner is the resizing corner, and it's got that plus sign in those little brackets. And I can grab this and I can make the couch wider or narrower. Skinny little love seat. I can increase its depth, but I'm going to go and uh, get it back somewhere in the ballpark of what it was before. The uh, one in the lower left corner, because the arrows up and down, adjusts the height. And uh, so I could make it a little bit taller. And you can see in the bottom view how this is affecting it. And I'm making it a little bit shorter. And again, I'm going to go back to something in the ballpark of where it was originally. And then the last one is the elevation. That allows you, if you for some reason needed to raise an object off the floor, you notice in the view below, my couch is now floating in the air. Um, for a couch, you wouldn't really use this. Um, but if you want to place, say, a plant on a table, that would be very helpful um, so that you could put the plant at the proper height so it's sitting on the table. All right, uh, let me just throw a couple of other things in here. Here's a coffee table. And we talked about plants, so maybe I'm going to put a plant in the corner. And, uh, and then maybe we'll throw a chair over in this corner. And maybe we'll rotate it so that it's kind of on an angle with the room. 
Okay, uh, last thing I want to show you is if you want to change the color of a piece of furniture. If you double click the piece of furniture, you not only have access to all kinds of dimensions for it, some of the things I was changing by dragging the handles on the furniture, uh, but you also get access to things like the color. And so um, maybe we don't like the blue color, maybe we'd rather have, uh, I don't know, I'm not an interior decorator, but maybe we'll get some kind of a, a green color here just so it's something different. And maybe instead of that shiny surface, we'll give it a matte finish instead. There we go. That's the basics of how to place furniture. Um, I will place a few more bits of furniture here, and then in the next video, we'll talk about how to uh, capture some pictures of what you have created.